So today we're going to be doing a service inspection. First step, get the hood up. Horn works. Hey, it's the first thing on my list. Yeah, well, lights are next, so. How do you like that? Boom. Let's check the back. Left blinker. Right blinker. Brake lights. Boom. Get the rest of it done. When we pop the hood, we're going to be focusing on the fluid levels, belt wear, and looking for any other potential problems. After checking your horn and lights as Richard just showed us, we can move on to the next step and check the serpentine belt in the vehicle. So when checking the belt, we are looking for thread depth or any damage to determine wear of the belt. Now we are going to check the fluids. I'll be using Rain-X 2-in-1 windshield washer to top off the washer fluid. Make sure the washer fluid tank needs to be filled to avoid overflow. Make sure to use the funnel to avoid spillage and use both hands when pouring Rain-X washer fluid to fill the reservoir to its maximum level. Once you're done pouring, screw the cap on to save for future use. Remove your funnel. Always make sure to clean your area as you go. Now we will check the levels on the brake fluid. When filling the brake fluid, the level is clearly marked, so make sure your fluid is at its maximum level. If the fluid is low, add accordingly. If either of your fluids appear dirty or darker in color, you may want to have them flushed or changed. In this particular case, the fluids are clean and only the coolant needs to be topped off. Your coolant tank also has markings that indicate maximum and minimum volume. As you can see, we're about halfway from our max volume, so we will need to go ahead and top it off. Grab your coolant container, be sure to check the label for specifics to your vehicle. Determine if it's pre-mixed or if you need to add water. Also, make sure you have the proper coolant for the make of your vehicle. Most older cars take a universal green coolant and newer vehicles will take the Dexcool orange coolant. Remove the funnel. Screw the cap back onto the coolant container. Always keep your area as clean as possible to avoid any problems. Next, we're going to check the tread depth of the tires. We are going to use the tread depth indicator tool. First, we're going to place the indicator into the tread valley and press down on the outer tabs until resting on the tread. This will reveal the measuring indicator in the center of the tool. This will give you the tread depth. Place the probe into the center of the tire groove and push down on the gauge's base. Do not place the probe on the molded tread wear indicators or any other raised surface of the tread design. If your tread depth is 4 30 seconds of an inch or below, it's time to change your tires. Before checking your wipers, make sure that you have no cracks on the windshield. Wiper blades should always be replaced every six months to a year as soon as you notice a difference in driving visibility. When wiper blades no longer make proper contact with the windshield surface, they begin to squeak, chatter, skip, smear, and even streak. You may even notice they start to come apart. These wiper blades look great and we won't have to replace them. Lastly, we will check our mirrors. Oh great, it's Richard. Looks good. How are we doing on the rest of it? I need a serpentine belt. Well, I can call Advanced Auto Parts. Yeah. Can cool. you get me some plugs and an air filter? I gotta do it all, don't I? Oh, trust me, you're not doing it all. I'm working this thing. Get some good use out of it yet. Glad we got that taken care of. Be sure to look out for our next installment.